Are you even a real Aussie parent if you've never had to wipe poop from your dog's little behind? Australian Shepherds have the most beautiful coat, but without proper care, their bum hair, or pants as we like to call them, can be notorious for collecting dingleberries. And not even the beautiful Princess Farley is immune to it. So today I'm going to show you how I trim Farley's bum hair at home to keep her poop magnet pants in control between groomings. So Australian Shepherds have these beautiful double coats, right? And as a first time Aussie owner, I learned very quickly from the internet that this breed of dog should never be shaved. Shaving can mess with their undercoat, make it more difficult for them to regulate temperature, and it may never grow back properly. So I just wanna confirm that I am not talking about shaving Farley's bum today. We will just be trimming up her pants or britches or fur feathers, whatever you wanna call them, to keep her rear end more sanitary. This is a completely normal and acceptable practice to keep their bathroom parts hygienic. So I usually take Farley in for a full grooming like twice a year where they do all the main fancy stuff that her coat needs but I find that every one and a half to two months I need to give her pants a good trim. So I know it's time when I start to notice her pee or poo sticking to the hair or it starts to smell a little off and that's where little Miss Farley is at right now. She's been collecting little nuggets in her pants and that's how I knew it was time to clean up the area for her. The only thing I use for this is a pair of thinning scissors that I bought on Amazon. I bought a whole set of dog grooming scissors off Amazon for really cheap. I'll leave a link to them in the description. And then you need a comb or a brush, some high value treats, and I guess a good vacuum to clean up all the hair afterwards, unless you decide to do it outside like me. Okay, so now that we're getting into it, we have to decide what length we want to take it to. And it's really a personal preference. <laughs> I used to prefer her to have a fuzzy little peach bottom when she was a puppy, but now my tastes have kind of changed and I appreciate the look of like longer pants that swish around when she walks. So since I like the look of a longer coat, I try not to trim too much, just whatever I need to, to ensure that there's a clear path for the pee and poo to exit. And I make sure to try and get this area like closer to her tummy too. Good girl. Yourself like I just did. Sorry, I just cut myself. It's easy to forget that these are actually really sharp because they're not like cutting the hair as obviously, but this sharp side is still very sharp, so watch out. So this process can take anywhere between 5 minutes to 30 minutes depending on how smooth I want Farley's back end to look. But Farley is a professional Instagram model, so I like to take my time and make sure her caboose is trimmed to perfection. Giving her treats, chews, or lick mats can help make this process more enjoyable for her. And here's the final product. Farley's bum is back in fine form and hopefully she won't be needing any more bum baths for a while. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're an Aussie parent and you can relate to the struggle of your dog's poopy pants, let me know in the comments so we can suffer together. And if you wanna see more videos about life with Farley, our mountain adventures, or behind the scenes life with an Instagram dog, hit subscribe and let me know what type of videos you'd like to see. I'm gonna to try to put out a new video every Thursday, so stay tuned and we'll see you next week. Right, do you wanna do a bye? Come here.